Hello everyone and welcome to another Buy Request Friday. Uh, this week's request is... Hey, could you show us how you made the Ultra Pez 9000 detect if it was low on carts because I cannot figure out the redstone with everything being compacted together. Thanks. This was by Jesh186. Now this request was not only submitted by him but a lot of other people because it looks like everybody wants to know how it works. Uh, so to do that I'm going to do a bit of backstory here. Uh, what you have here in the orange is a RS NOR latch. It's a memory circuit. When I press one button it changes state and I press this other one it goes back to the other state. No matter how many times I press that it will always stay that state until this other one is pressed. Now the way that works is when a cart leaves and goes to the departure gate uh, it presses this button and then the machine will check to see if the PEZ is empty. If the PEZ has carts in it, a cart is going to press the other button and flip it back to the normal state. Now this red section here is the thing that is it's a timer and what it does it times uh, how long it takes. It times so that when I press this button I have however long it takes for this light to turn on to press this other button so I, I'm not going to be able to do it fast enough in this demonstration here because I'm just not able to but you'll see it won't turn on right away this is an AND gate here uh, the first because this stays on when that button is sorry when this button is pressed you can see here this one is on instantly and this one takes eight ticks to get to here so if I can press this eight ticks uh, this button here before this eight ticks is up then this light will never turn on and there is no blinking issue whoops this one uh... and so yeah that's that's how the basic concept work works here uh... i've laid out flat a basic this is basically uh, a uncompressed version of the UltraPES 9000's buffer system, and it's simplified, simplified a lot. Um, here we have these are the buffers here, so we've got one, two, uh, only three in this case. Uh, the other one has five, I think. So whenever you call a cart, this uses the same thing you can see here here's the uh, orange is the RS NOR latch the red is the the delay that counts the time between that button is pressed and how long it will take before the uh, the main PEZ is empty light to turn on so this this sensor here has to be tripped before this reaches uh, before this turns on before the light will turn on now obviously you can put a lot more delays in here if you're if you have a laggy server or whatever but uh, because this is single player it's pretty reliable so when I press this button what's gonna happen is it's gonna trigger all the events that occur when the PES 9000 button is triggered and you can watch see what happens see that car coming from the back and see how this light did not turn on Okay, so we do it one more time. Okay, so what I'm doing now, this will be your cart call button, and this cart is the first one in your array. Uh, this this cart is not the departure gate. This cart will actually be called to the departure gate. So let's say your departure gate is here. Uh, for testing purposes, I have it obviously hooked back onto the PEZ. So when I press this button, I'm calling the cart I'm actually calling is this first one. I'm not calling anything out of the PEZ dispenser. So I call that, that cart comes to me in the departure gate and I go off on my business. Uh, and these these delays here, they ensure that they don't both and they don't both get caught. Obviously uh, that isn't the case and usually it wouldn't be. But this is just a safety precaution to make sure that um, to make sure that there's no cart stacking uh, over here. 
Now, when I first press the button, it also, when it sets off this chain, chain reaction here, this current runs over the RS null latch, and at the same time, it triggers the PEZ dispenser to eject a cart, and that cart goes to the end of the buffer. So I'm going to take this one out, and now we will see what will happen when I press the button and there is no cart in the dispenser. Oh, the button didn't press properly. That is weird and happens sometimes. That's uh, a glitch with the button, not a glitch with the system. So we'll try that again. Okay, and you can see now this light is on because there's nothing in the PES dispenser. Uh, except for that cart that obviously went there. Now what you can see here is the buffer now has a gap. If I press the button one more time, let's just say I filled up the PES dispenser. If I press the button one more time, we still have a gap in here. And you can see it reset because a cart came out. Now with this gap, the only way you can fill this in is when you have your restock, it actually goes through and it taps all of these carts on the way back to the PES dispenser before it gets there before it gets to the PES dispenser. So the PES is really just a storage unit and you're not ever calling a cart directly from the PES dispenser and you're not ever refilling directly to the PES dispenser. There's a lot of um, this this buffer system is, is what you're using. The PES just fills this buffer system up and when you're restocking it always checks to make sure the buffer is full so that there's no gaps in the system uh, and and there is carts and then after that it will go back into the into the PES. So uh, that's pretty much the end of this episode of BioQuest Friday. So it's a bit more technical than normal uh, but it was the most requested and you wanted to see how it worked so this is how it worked. Uh, I'm going to put a save up. Uh, check the description below for the save. It's going to have my whole test world in it. I think I've uh, made videos of everything up to this point, so you'll be able to download it and uh, have a play around with this stuff. Uh, it's obviously a lot easier to learn when you are able to play around with it, so that's why I put it available for you. Uh, so just check the description for that. Make sure you leave a comment below if you like this. Make sure you like it. Uh, leave a comment as well to make a request for next week. This was episode 8. I think. Uh, I've lost track so many times so I don't even know what I'm up to. I think it's episode 8 so I've done uh, 8 weeks in a row which is a first for me. I don't normally do this many episodes in a row and keep going so so this is good. This is a good sign uh, of what to come. Hopefully I can get to 10 and uh, maybe then I'll take a break and start season 2 after that. But uh, make sure you keep putting in your requests. I love doing this stuff. Uh, I love doing the fun ones. I think uh, a lot of people wanted me to do a roller coaster or a roller coaster underwater or something like that. I'm 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 looking forward to doing something like that. Depends if uh, depends if I get enough requests doing that. So we'll see what happens next week. Maybe I'll be doing a roller coaster if somebody requests it again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you check out my channel for other stuff. I uh, I'm four away from getting the 1,000 subscribers. So that video is probably going up right away too. So make sure you watch that. Thanks for watching. Bye.